All right, a quick little video on how to do this shatter effect type thing. Uh, basically, uh, somebody posted this on Facebook uh, about wanting to know how to do it. Uh, so I just grabbed the image that they uh, threw up there. And uh, now I'm doing this first part uh, in uh, Microsoft Visio. Uh, it's just because I'm used to using it and it's easy for me to draw stuff uh, like this for. So I, I basically uh, I'm not getting every little thing in here, and I'm not in going to do this uh, undercut thing in the example, uh, but that's easy to do as well. Uh, anyway, uh, I basically just drew over the top and made these little uh, shatter rectang uh, triangle things uh, on there. And then once I did that, uh, I uh, removed the background image from it, uh, took the fill out of all of these uh, so that it was more like, uh, well, we'll just get that in here, we'll go to a none and apply. And then, uh, and let's take uh, no background and we apply that so I ended up with uh, this which is a, a vector drawing of some shatter that I wanted to throw on that image I then saved this out as an SVG file scalable vector graphics file uh, and to where I could import it into Corel so in Corel I went ahead and set up the dance 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 uh, in, in there and uh, it's just the wording uh, in there just uh, three deals of the dance I didn't go through the uh, problem uh, the issue of putting the other dance and cutting it and putting it under there but there again that's fairly simple to do so there's two options that we can do at this point I've got these uh, colored uh, red so that they're visible against the uh, the back uh, black ground. But one, one option if we just want to do this for screen printing real quick we can click on that go to effects go to power clip and place inside frame and stick that on there and you can see that that's now in, in there uh, it, if I wanted uh, to uh, go ahead and have that white I could do, edit the power clip actually click on that uh, bring up uh, the properties, the fill, and go to, no. Uh, well we want to go to solid fill and go to a white. And then uh, effects, power clip, and finish editing, and now we have a white. There again, um, uh, it's not an exact line up there, but you get the idea. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we'll go ahead and bring this back out. Another way that we can do that is we can select that and hold the shift key down and select the uh, item behind it. And now we get these options up here. And we're just going to do the trim. And now once we've done the trim, if we move this out of there, we now have all of that done. So that's another way to do it too. Uh, you can create your own little shatter uh, uh, any way you want uh, that you're going to use for the effect on it. Uh, you can create it in Corel, Illustrator, whatever. Uh, I just happen to use Visio because I've been using it for years doing other things and uh, did a ton of vinyl graphics uh, stuff with Visio in the past. But that's basically uh, it, you know, so we get rid of this. And now we have a uh, shatter effect on the dance, dance, dance. You spend a little bit more time uh, addressing all these little points and everything else and putting the other things in. Uh, you can make this look uh, however you want. Uh, but uh, that's basically how it's done.